So now let's answer these questions. The average age of viewers on Facebook is between the ages of 45 and 60. And there are more people on Facebook between those age break. I realize that's a 15 year age span, but that, there's more people watching on Facebook in that age span than any place else. Okay. Now, what are they interested in? What are they looking for? Why is the, the that crowd of people uh, is the largest number of people on Facebook. They're certainly not the highest portion of the population, but they're, what's, why is it that there's more interest of them than anything else? And the reason's simple. The number one reason is they're looking for pictures of the grandkids. In the world that we live in where people are so scattered out, they're looking for pictures of their grandkids. They want to see how the ball game went. They want to see a video of, of Junior stealing first base and, or stealing second base and they, they, they sliding into first and getting his first home run. They want to see that stuff, and they can't always be there. And so this is an opportunity for them to be able to look at that. that change, if I understand that, that changes the way I'm going to create my ads. All right? The other, th because that's the interest that's there. The, and what's their activities? What is it that they post about? What is it that they comment about? What do they share? What do they look at? I, I've been watching a bunch of ads on Facebook for, on purpose just to see what's going on with that group of ads. And it's really pretty interesting to see that, um, to see what it is that they're doing, what it is that they comment about. And of course, things get tainted a little bit right now because we're in the middle of election year, but but uh, but you'll, you'll be able to monitor the activity of viewers. You'll see the language that they use when they describe that the problem that they had when their cable TV got, went out. And, and uh, how do they describe that? How do they talk about that? And that becomes important. If I'm in the cable TV business, it becomes important for me to understand what they're saying. If I'm in this customer service business, it's important for me to understand what it is that their expectations were. This is a great place for me to be able to gather that kind of intel okay so that's the facebook platform now let's take a look at the next slide that we have here uh i, I entitled this what's your expiration date you want to get people's attention ask them what their expiration date is because a fundamental law of business is that everything is in the process of becoming obsolete if you don't believe that just look outside all of those beautiful, gorgeous foliage that came out on the leaves uh, as, as, they, as they came to life in the spring are all starting to expire. Everything in the world is in the process of becoming obsolete. That includes your product. That includes your market. That includes your message. And that includes your marketing. Everything is in the process of becoming obsolete. And so I like to remind business owners that 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 everything that they have is in the process of becoming obsolete and if you're not thinking about the future I promise you your competition is and so when we look at the things that we're, we're doing here with Facebook marketing and and trying to reach an audience what I understood about that audience five years ago is different than what I understand about it today we didn't have certain things available in the past. I had an opportunity to bid on an enormous marketing opportunity with the state of Montana. The last time they had evaluated their media spend was in 2007. They went for 10 years without evaluating their media spend. And they're wondering why tourism is on the decline in the state of Montana. Never mind the fact that 13 million people visit the state every year which means the population increases by 13 times. But never mind that. They went 10 years without evaluating their marketing. 10 whole years. And th the result was that they had two videos on YouTube. The most gorgeous state in the United States. Two videos on YouTube. And it was because they had expired. They, there was nothing. YouTube wasn't a channel that was as prominent as it is today in 2007. And so their marketing techniques had expired. And they didn't know it. And they were fixing to spend a million dollars. And they wanted to know how's the best way to spend it because they spent it every year. And the last time they evaluated spending it was 10 years ago everything is in the process of becoming obsolete
If you're not paying attention to that, you're going to be in trouble. And if you set your meetups up in that style, you'll be amazed at how you'll be able to capture people's attention. Okay, that's kind of an introduction to the slides that I have here. And uh, I wanted you to see, take a different approach. Don't go in like everybody else. Go there with the purpose of capturing their attention and letting them, letting them know that you are different than everyone else. And because you're different, you can make a difference in their business.